Hello and welcome to Glitter Shine Nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you may have seen recently, I purchased some Lena nail art items from the UK stockist nail artisan. In my last video, I swatched the first stamping plate. All of the other items I will be bringing to my channel at a later date. So in this video, I'll be swatching and reviewing Lena nail art stamping plate. I foil in love 02 as always you can find information on where to purchase from in the description box below before we get started please subscribe to my channel and make sure you have the bell notification on and please like this video these things really do help out my channel thank you so I have my usual stamper and scraper along with six colored nail tips which I'll be swatching onto for the first swatch I'll be using a light blue colored nail tip along with a metallic blue stamping polish when I swatch line pattern designs like this one, when it comes to placing them down, I do try as hard as possible to get it straight. It doesn't always work, believe me, but this swatch looks brilliant, love it. For the next swatch, I'll be using a lilac colored nail tip along with my favorite purple stamping polish. Now it wouldn't be me if I didn't do one of the butterfly designs and the purple color combo. This is just, beautiful i personally love this image you could even fill in the butterflies with some added color i will clean up the tip of the nail where i've had some excess stamping but they look amazing those gorgeous swatch for the next swatch i'll be using a yellow colored nail tip along with a burgundy stamping polish these roses are just stunning you could make this into a reverse stamp filling each rose in a different color or even over a multi-colored background but this image has swatched beautifully the yellow and burgundy color combo you could wear that any time of the year for the next swatch i'll be using a teal shimmer green colored nail tip along with white stamping polish i personally love images like this one if you had longer nails you could very easily leave space at the top of the nail maybe adding some crystals as well i've seen an image like this before and i think they are great for spring and summer manis i personally love the green and white color combo the white really stands out for the next swatch, I'll be using a light pink colored nail tip along with a neon pink stamping polish. I really like images like this. It's quite a retro look, which is why I went with the pink. Again, you could add some color or over a multicolored background. With stamping, there is so many different things you could add to the stamping. I'll be doing a video on this very soon, but this is a gorgeous swatch though. For the next swatch, I'll be using a white colored nail tip along with a coral colored stamping polish. This image, I feel it could have very easily come from twirls and swirls. I love swirly designs. Not sure what I would use it with from I Fall In Love 02, but it is still a really pretty swirly image, which I just love. This color combo is fairly new to me, so I'm still getting used to it, but I love that the coral stands out so well with that design over the white. And then here they are all together. So let's move on to the photo swatches, a mani that I've created from Lean and Nail Art Stamping Plate, I Foil In Love 02. Lena Nailer I Foil In Love 02 is full of stunning lace, pattern floral designs of which there is 27 large style designs along with six smaller images down the center now when this plate arrived to me and i removed the clear film off the plate i noticed that there was a lot and i mean a lot of glue residue left behind i spent a good 20 minutes cleaning the plate with acetone just because I don't want any of that glue residue to go on my stamper or my swatches. I don't get this a lot, but I will make sure 100% it's super clean before I start using the stamping plate. Now with the two thin long line images at the top, I've swatched them together, which I have to say worked quite well. But these images could also be used on their own. And you'll see this when you see my Manny, as I have used one. 
the large negative space on the bottom left I couldn't get the open space to be complete so I've only used the floral part on the side of the pop stick it was the only image which gave me any trouble but if you know me and you've watched my videos for a while you know that these types of images can be hit or miss with me I personally love lace pattern designs and they are always super popular as well so I foil in love 02 for me will be used quite a bit now I do have I foil in love 01 and you can find the swatch review I did on that sanding plate in the description box below I've not had a look at them together but I do think they might work very well together I do find lean ranges do tend to work really well especially like I fall in love twirls and swirls four seasons and the make your mark range so this is definitely something I want to have a look into with I foil in love 01 and 02 now they also released totally negative 03 which you can understand why I didn't purchase that one. And also In Motion 04, which again is another range I'm not really into, but they did look really nice stamping plates though. Now, as I said at the beginning, I purchased mine through Nail Artisan, who is the UK stockist. But if you go onto the Lena's website, another link in the description box below, you'll find some other stockists. You might even find one that is closer to you. I know sometimes we can get hit with shipping and customs. I adore Lena stamping plates. They're really nice and easy stamping plates to work with. All of the swatches, apart from the one I spoke about earlier, have swatched brilliantly and there wouldn't be any, if many, that I wouldn't use, which is amazing for a large stamping plate. For the Manny, I've used a new red gel polish as my base colour and I've stamped in a pink rose gold colour stamping polish. I've used two different images for this Manny. With the large image, I've turned the stamp around so the three nails are slightly different. With the thin image, which I've taken from the top of the stamping plate, I've used one of them. And again, I've just turned the stamp around so both of the nails are different. I really like how this money has turned out. I don't think the camera picks up the true pink side of this stamping polish, but in person it does, and I absolutely love it. All of my swatches will be over on my Instagram page in the next few days, along with the Manny and what products I've used. There is a link in the description box below. If you do come over and see my posts and you like them, please give them a like as well. I'd be really grateful. Thank you for viewing my swatch review on Lena Nail Art Stamping Plate I Foil in Love 02. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Comment below. I love to hear from you. Hit that subscribe button and share. Also, don't forget to come over and follow me on my Instagram page at Glitter Shine Nails. So until next time, happy stamping and bye.